Hi guys, I'm Ali Sana. Hi guys, it's Sashwaka. Today, we're going to learn the last two sets of consonants in the Sanskrit Akshara The first set is called the semi-vowels, and the second set is called the sibilants. These four sounds on your screen right now make up the semi-vowel group. And this group is called the sibilants, also known as the hissing sounds. These sounds are aspirated, which means you need to give a burst of air when you say these sounds. As always, we will use the vowel a uh, after each consonant to make them easier to communicate. We will say the sound or the word once. And when the words your turn pop up on the screen, it's your turn to try saying the sound with us. Let's get started. Ya, as in yes. Ya. A Sanskrit word to learn would be yantra, which is a deity in the form of a shape. Yantra. Ra, as in rag. Ra. A Sanskrit word to learn would be Ratna, which means a gem. Ratna. La, as in love. La. A Sanskrit word to learn would be laya, which means rhythm. Laya. Va, as in vine. Va. A Sanskrit word to learn would be vastra, which means clothing. Vastra. Sha, as in she. Sha. A Sanskrit word to learn would be shanka, which means a conch. Shanka. Sha, as in Marsh. Sha. A Sanskrit word to learn would be Varsha, which means rain. Varsha. Sa, as in sun. Sa. A Sanskrit word to learn would be Sahasra, which means a thousand. Sahasra. Ha, as in home. Ha. A Sanskrit word to learn would be hamsa, which means a swan. Hamsa. Congratulations, everybody! We've gotten through the whole Akshamala together. And now that we have, we have an amazing foundation for a whole world of learning. Having this skill will really help you in learning how to chant, how to sing, how to pronounce Sanskrit words, and overall it's just an amazing skill to have for any future learning you might want to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed these videos and that you'll go review them and keep practicing, and we'll see you next time. Bye!